everyone. Welcome to Marketing with Maggie. I'm Maggie Miller, and I'm here with Janet Shines. She is the CEO of the JS Group, and her passion and mission is to help the channel succeed so no one better to talk to about channel marketing with than Janet. So welcome. Hi, it's so nice to see you, and hello, everyone out there. Excited to talk to Marketing with Maggie. It's, it's amazing. It's a special thing. So, Yay, I'm so happy to have you here. So let's start off with the worst of the worst. What are the biggest fails that channel partners make when it comes to marketing, and why are they struggling? Such a great question, and I always feel bad saying fails, but it is true, and we're actually seeing a decline in uh, effectiveness in marketing out in the channel. So I think it's really three things that I want to go through and, and talk with people about. So one is not having a marketing plan. So they've been doing things for a while. They have a website. They do certain events, certain um, you know call campaigns, whatever they might do, but they have no written, no documented plan. And even if it's a half of one page, having a marketing plan, having goals and metrics and knowing what you're going to do, what your messages are, what your quarterly campaigns are is important. So that's the first fail. The second fail is not doing social media. So there's so many that if they are doing it, they're doing it poorly. So either it's about their favorite sports team and nothing else, um, or it's about their business and nothing else. And they're just shouting, buy from me, buy from me, buy from me, which no one um, respects or responds to. So not having a social media plan and having a social media persona, not being consistent, having a cadence in that. And then the third thing is prospecting. They just are afraid to have prospecting as a tactic to make calls. I just spoke actually at a big event for TBI at their TBI big event. And I got the whole audience to admit that they're not very good at prospecting. So that's the final big fail um, and actually number one on the list. Those are really great really tips. So what do you think is the one tactic that you would tell mark channel marketers to start doing today? Today, get on social media to prospect. Uh, and by the way, I will add as a bonus, you might want to pick a phone up and call some of your clients and prospect there as well. But let's get on social media. Let's build a persona for ourselves. So both a personal persona, uh, I stand for women in technology as a personal persona, but I've seen people fitness, uh, cooking, it doesn't matter, just so you have a personal persona. And then your professional persona, what do you stand for? I stand for channels, channel marketing, sales enablement, uh, program development. You stand for marketing and, and all good things, communication, and then consistently post, comment, and engage. Have a goal for the influencers and customers you want to meet and, and make those introductions in the social media world. And then when you make the right introduction, follow up, get on the phone or in person or however you choose to do things on Skype is great too, and have a conversation and prospect for business. Great advice. Yeah, I'm passionate about social media, so it's good to hear other people think it's a great tactic when it comes to channel marketing. So what about a second runner up here the, of a marketing tactic you think uh, channel partners can look at maybe over the next few months? So I think a runner up and, and actually maybe kind of a, a tie with social media, quite frankly, is to get your salespeople, assuming you have salespeople, if it's just you, that's fine too, and dial for dollars. It feels old fashioned. It feels old school. It feels tough to do. But we have found that if you call businesses and you have a value proposition from either your own solution or a vendor solution, have a dialogue, it is the highest rate of return marketing activity you can do. And yet people will spend big money on events, on direct mail, on email, on, uh, you know, on advertising, on all kinds of things, and they won't just pick the phone up. So that would be what I would say. And if you're not willing to pick the phone up, or you're not willing to do your own social media, there are very affordable services that you can subscribe to and have them do it for you. But someone's got to do both of those tactics for your business. Great advice. Great advice. And what about those who have a marketing strategy, but maybe need to recraft it? So I think you know, it's interesting because when I talk to people and say, do they have a marketing strategy? What I find is they have a marketing calendar. Yeah. So they have a very good calendar of what they're going to do. But when I ask what their strategy is, who are they going after? Who are their new contacts? Um, how are they going after it? What value proposition? What is their quarterly message? They don't have an answer. And so really, if you want to redo your channel of marketing strategy for today's world, a world of digital transformation, you have to go back to basics. Who are your target customers? What are your target segments? What solutions are you selling and why would they buy? Put that together first and then do your marketing calendar. 
<laughs> One final question. question. Do you think it's responsible for helping company teams succeed? succeed? Is it vendors, it distributors, distributors, partners, or all of them? I think it's all of them. And I think it comes down to the partner. The partner either doing their own marketing or outsourcing it. So someone asked me the other day, how much does it cost if I want someone else to do social media for me with enough cadence that I build a brand? About $800 a month to outsource it. That's not a lot of money. Right. So I think the partner can take some skin into this game, the vendor, because, by the way, the vendor could let the partner MDF that or a prospecting call campaign boot camp and follow up calls. And then third, the distributor, the distributors aggregate all of the vendors. So they also should have programs here for the partners to join to help get better at marketing and have better marketing programs. So I think it's all three of them working together and saying we're going to go out and get business together. Right. Always right. better when you have a team, right? Yes. <laughs> well, thank you for your time today, Jana. Always great insight. You too. Thanks so much.